So let's get into strawberry shortcake. So I ordered this from Walmart. I originally ordered her or pre-ordered her from Amazon, but she wasn't gonna get here until the 25th. So uh, as soon as I got this one, I canceled my Amazon one. I am still waiting on my Rainbow Brights, which will come uh, towards the end of the month. So uh, I thought I would open her up in the meantime. So. And I loved uh, Strawberry Shortcake and Rainbow Bright in the 80s. Uh, definitely uh, brings back uh, kid memories for me. So I was very excited when I saw that these were coming out as fashion dolls. So that's really fun. But anyway, so this is the front of the box. And uh, like I said, she is scented, so I'm, I'm curious to see if, if that's actually true. <laughs> and then the side of the box just has a little, little cute little, uh, um, wow, illustration of <laughs> Strawberry Shortcake. And uh, same thing on the other side. And then on the back is a cross cell plus surprises so this is how we're, we'll open up the, the surprises i guess on the back because it looks like these are perforated so and these are made by the loyal subjects the um the rainbow bright ones are also made by loyal subjects so and i think they have there's like a whole line of uh things that are coming out for these for these properties so um i was just interested in, in, in these particular ones Barbie re rewinds 40, 50 euros. Wow. That's, uh, that's expensive. <laughs> um, okay. So let me just go ahead and get the doll out. And we can do a smell test. Okay. I will tell you what I think in a second. So just wanna get her get her out of the packaging. It's super easy. So she comes with these like super adorable stickers. So these are like very 80s, uh, 80s inspired illustrations. And I love that they come with little stickers. That's so fun. I love it. Um, so I smelled her and the scent is like, it's more of a plastic doll smet, uh, smell than anything. But there is like a slight, a slight strawberry scent. Yeah, it's very subtle. I wish it was a little more potent, but it's it's very subtle. Anyway, uh, she is adorable. So here is her front and her back. So, um, yeah, my first impressions are that she is super cute and she definitely gives off that vintage-y kind of vibe. She's got some like weird random hairs uh, on her face, but she is super cute. I love that she's like articulated, like, a, like an actual fashion doll. She is obviously shorter. She's only five and a half inches, so, um, Definitely shorter than a the traditional fashion, a one six scale doll. But yeah, so let's just uh, start from the top. So she's wearing her signature cap and it's made of this like nylon-y material. It's not, doesn't feel like super cheap. Um, 
and it is actually attached to her head with some plastic ties. Uh, the strawberry is like an applique uh, that's attached to her hat. And then her hair, her hair actually, f it feels nice. I don't think, I think it's like, I think it's a, I think it's a decent quality hair. I don't think it's polypropylene. So I think it's like maybe Saran, maybe nylon. Uh, but yeah, it feels like silky. So it's definitely like a nice quality. Uh, and then her face is adorable. She's got like the classic uh, strawberry shortcake face. And yeah, it's just, it's really cute. It's super cute. And then uh, her outfit, uh, she's wearing this like red, red uh, polka dot dress with this white apron, with this little like pattern across the top or across the bottom here. And I think everything is one piece because it does Velcro in the back. So there's like a faux, a faux tie back there. And then her stockings, her classic green and white stockings. And um, do they go all the way up? Yes. Oh, she's wearing, she's got like, uh, like undergarment under there. Okay. Uh, so her stockings <laughs> do go, they are actual like pants uh, that go all the way up. And then her shoes are just these very simple, um, like slip on shoes. There's a little slit in the, in the back there. And uh, yeah, no painted details or anything. And then articulation. Yeah, the articulation, they advertise 29 points of articulation, which I'm not sure how that's even possible, but sure. <laughs> so, her head can go side to side, kind of up and down, not really. It's more just side to side. And then her arms can go out. Does she have, yeah, she has elbow articulation, wrist articulation. She does have a waist articulation. And then hip, knee, and then her feet are articulated also. So that's cool. So she's like a fully articulated doll, which is amazing. The only downside with a doll like this is that it's so small, like the scale is so small that I'm not sure what other dolls, like if you wanted to like swap out clothing for some reason, I don't know what other dolls would work with this. Um, if anyone knows off the top of your head, I'm trying to think of, like, I wonder if, like, the hair amazing, like, the mini dolls might fit. Or, like, a... I don't know if the tween, the OMG tweens, would be too big. Um, but, yeah, that's the only thing with, like, the scale, is that finding clothing uh, to fit her would be challenging, but... I don't know. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Trisha Spectacle, welcome. Uh, are the 29 points of articulation in the room with us now? You mean these? 29 points? Um, yeah, so, uh, but yeah, okay, so I want to take, I'm going to take her, <laughs> I'm going to take her clothes off because I want to see this, un there's like an undergarment or something. So I'm gonna take her clothes off. I'm always curious how, like what, it's always interesting when doll manufacturers like do stuff with like undergarments, um, when you're not really gonna take their clothes off or something like this, especially, but okay. So get her stockings off. So she's wearing like a pink, so she's got like a pink, a pink top and some pink underwear 
I don't know if it's meant to be like a bodysuit or something, but it is textured. I'm not sure what the texture is. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a, like flowers maybe. I don't know. But this also gives you a better idea of the articulation. And I think the 29, I don't know if they're, they're, yeah, I don't know. There's just like, like the shoulder is all like on a ball joint almost. So it can go like, it can do this. It can go like backwards, I guess. So maybe they're counting that. Um, and then the knees, so the knees, okay, so the knees are interesting because there is like, like a click, 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 and that's it. So maybe they're counting each one of those like positions, articulation, and maybe that's where they're getting like the 29. And then like the, um, her feet are also like on this like ball joint. So, but yeah, I don't, that, that's the only way that I could I could see that they're getting 29 because that's that's a that's a that's a big number <laughs> that's a really big number and then her uh, her torso spins around so so that's fun um, yeah she's she is she is super cute she does have like giant feet too <laughs> which is like really funny um, it's also interesting that her feet are um there's like an indent in her feet they're not flat uh but they yeah she's got big feet <laughs> for for the, for her scale i feel like her feet are big and like bulbous they like they're like rounded at the top which is really funny so um oh i agree i don't i don't know why this i don't know why she needs 29 but Sure. Uh, okay, so let me redress her. And there are more surprises um, that I need to open up. So let's see how challenging it is to redress her. How's everyone doing? Does anyone have any fun, fun plans coming up this uh, this week or weekend? Anything good going on? I am getting a haircut on Saturday because my hair is out of control right now. All right, pants are on. Time to get this top on. Ooh, right sending an Allen shirt. That's fun. Is this a life-size Allen shirt that you're gonna wear? Or is it an actual Allen-sized Allen shirt? All right, she is, she is redressed. Um, oh, nice. 5,000, wow, that's so many stones. All right. So, so they have, it says four, four surprises. Um, I can already see the surprises, so I'm not, I don't think I'm even gonna bother punching these i'm just gonna i don't know yeah i'm just gonna take it out i don't i, I think it's cute for a kid to to kind of do this but i'm just i'm not gonna deal with that right now all right so the first thing we have is a uh it is a comb 
So it's a cute little, um, it's a cute little strawberry comb. So I think this is like meant to be the strawberry. And then maybe this is like the leaf, like the green leaf pattern that was on her, on her uh, undergarments. Uh, but yeah, so that's cute. And then the second thing is, and I forget what this, what her cat's name, did, you, did anyone remember what her cat's name is? The cat doesn't smell either, but uh, she comes with her little, her little, her little pet. Focus. Come on. Come on, kitty. There you are. Um, super cute. Just a solid piece of plastic. No, no articulation or anything. So that's cute. And, he, and this, the cat does not smell. So that's kind of a bummer, but super cute. And then I see with my eyes Custard. Custard. That's right. That's a cute name for a cat, Custard. Uh, and then she comes with a strawberry shortcake, of course. This is really cute. It goes all the way around. A little strawberry on top. So that's adorable. And then this, uh, I'm really excited about it because I feel like this also comes with the Rainbow Bright doll, uh, but it is a lunch pail. Yeah, this is so cute. So it's a little lunch pail. It has a uh, strawberry shortcake on it. So cute. And I think it opens up. It should open up. Yep. It opens up. So, super adorable. And I think she can carry it. Maybe. Can she? Well, why can't she carry it? All right, that's annoying. Um, she cannot, uh, can she carry it? It's, yeah, she can kind of, kind of carry it. If you're like, if you like don't move, <laughs> but it's not like a tight grip or anything. It literally, like you have to like press it in there and hope that she doesn't drop it. But it is, it is really, really cute. And um, so the weird thing is on the box, it looks like there should be different surprises. So, so if you notice her, her photo, if we focus. Um, if you notice on our photo, she's carrying a little basket of, I'm assuming our strawberries and a little strawberry purse. Both did not come with this. And uh, there's also a like mystery thing. So I wonder if, um, I think it, it, it looks like it's like randomized. So I could have gotten, yeah, so I guess the purse and the basket maybe are the other two. I don't know, it's, it's hard to, to see like what I'm missing. The basket's cute, I do like the basket. I am ha I'm, I'm happy with what I got, so that's fine, but it's just interesting that, um, it's not the same for items, which is fine, I guess. I mean, I'm, I'm probably not gonna buy another one of these for the other items, but you know. Uh, anyway, so strawberry shortcake, super cute. 
focus. My camera is like not, not having it. Um, yeah, super cute. I would definitely recommend. She was only like uh, 18 bucks, I think, on Walmart. So relatively inexpensive for some some nostalgia if you're into that. And I totally am, so it's totally worth it for me.